the dawn of man, the vampires have walked among us, killing and feeding. The only one with the strength or skill to stop their heinous evil is the slayer. She who bears the birthmark, the mark of the double. Trained by the watcher, one slayer dies, and the next is chosen. That shall be the sword. Hello everyone and welcome back to Antwood Movie Mania and today we are going to be discussing Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now for the people that have already seen the TV show starring Sarah Michelle Gellar, Josh Whedon wanted to make a film about a female vampire slayer because he thought that the male vampire hunter had been done to death. So this which led to making the film Buffy the Vampire Slayer which came out in 1992. But unfortunately, we didn't have to leave the project because of creative differences and studio interference. But we managed to get the film out. It came out in 1992, but it bombed at the box office. But we're going to talk about it today. So, the film Buffy the Vampire Slayer, starring Kirsty Swanson as Buffy, Donald Sutherland as Merrick, Paul Rubin as the sidekick vampire, Rod Rodger Hauer as Lothos, the, the film's main villain and Luke Perry, the late Luke Perry as Pike so the premise of the film is we didn't want to make a film about a normal Southern California girl who inherits the Slayer gene now she's a dipsy blonde California girl as you normally would get in high school but then she meets Donald Sutherland as Merrick her watcher now through the film he trains her to be the slayer so he takes her to a graveyard and that's where she first encounters two vampires and that's where she realizes who she is vampires are real and then through the film she goes out hunting vampires and then along the way Luke Perry gets involved trying to be the the boyfriend hero type but which just doesn't go down well to be, to be honest and through the film we meet Lothos Rodger Hauer the film's bad guy here I'm going to show you a couple of clips from the film not hopefully they're not too spoilers for you but So there's Paul Rubin. If you don't know who Paul Rubin is, he plays Pee Wee Sherman. Here we have a flashback scene of a previous Slayer. And there's the main bad guy of the film, Lothos. But a slayer can have nightmares, which brings prophecies true. Here we have Buffy seeing her first vampire. I'll only show this for a little bit. You can tell the acting's a bit corny, like. I think that's why we didn't left the project. And that's Buffy's first kill as a vampire. So that's the end of the film. I won't talk show too much of the film because it'll spoil it if you haven't seen it. But I am going to show a bit of my collection off of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV show. Now I've already done a review. I've already done a prop collection on this breakdown on another video that you can check out on my channel. But I'm just going to give you a quick showing of a few other bits that I have. Most people will have this, like, but there we go. And I've just found this today. 
Now, I don't know if many people own this one, but it's the Buffy the Vampire Slayer pop quiz book. Now, there's a couple of questions on the back. I won't dive into the book. But if you can read them, if you can get them, that's great. But, as always, my name is Antwood Movie Mania. And if you've got any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the box below so I can read them and I'll get back to you. Or if you have any unwanted movie collection that you think, oh, I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to bin it, then I'll be more than happy to display it on my movie display and hopefully put it in another video for you. And if you want me to review any videos, then just leave your questions and comments. Or if you want me to do a Buffy pop quiz out of this book, then let me know and I'll see what I can do. Again, cheers and bye.